My name is Colin Sheebles. I'm the director of Balance, the North East Alcohol Office. Our aim is to reduce alcohol-related harm in the North East of England. And we're launching a campaign in November, making people aware of the links between alcohol and cancer. Alcohol increases the risk of seven different types of cancer, including bowel, breast, mouth and throat cancer. It's really important to the North East because here we have the highest rates of alcohol-related hospital admissions in England and also the highest rates of alcohol-related and alcohol-specific deaths in England. Alcohol contributes to around 1,500 deaths a year uh, in the northeast of England. We also know that uh, we want to promote the fact that if you want to keep your risks low uh, of contracting an alcohol-related cancer, it's best to drink within the low-risk guidelines. And for both men and women, that's 14 units of alcohol a week. That's the equivalent of approximately six standard glasses of wine or six pints of regular strength beer. You know, we know that many, many people in the northeast of England are drinking above those low risk guidelines. We estimate about half a million drinkers are drinking at increased risk uh, of alcohol related cancers. And the worrying thing is that the vast majority of those people believe they're only light or moderate drinkers. They have a right to know that alcohol increases the risk of cancer and they have a right to know that they should be drinking within the low risk 14 unit weekly guidelines to keep those risks low. At the moment, there's not enough information out there for people to make an informed choice about how much they're drinking. We would urge the government to promote the, the health risks associated with alcohol and to promote the low risk drinking guidelines more effectively than is happening now. People in the northeast are more likely to know about the risks between the, the link between alcohol and cancer than people in else, elsewhere in the country, but still more people need to be aware of that so they can make informed decisions. They have a right to know, we're giving them that, that right to know, the government ought to be doing the same.